Chlorine in excess is in fact a prime agent or a catalyst in the formation of cancer producing compounds and has been implicated as a cause of heart disease. Probably the most common form of water filters come as charcoal or carbon filters or blocks. They are usually inexpensive but they have no ability to permanently remove harmful bacteria, viruses and chemicals including dangerous heavy metals like lead, mercury and arsenic from your drinking water. In fact, these filters can even promote the growth of bacteria within them and, as they do not clog, may later release the bacteria into your drinking water without you even suspecting it. Therefore, it can be more dangerous to use than not to use them. Reverse osmosis may do a good job in filtering, but it tends to be an inconsistent process. While it may filter off some impurities, it cannot be relied on to remove viruses, bacteria and dissolved gases such as chlorine consistently. Looking at all the shortcomings of filtration systems, you definitely wouldn't want yourself or your family to be drinking potentially hazardous filtered water, which may look clean but in fact is not. How then can we get really clean water? All this is made possible with a three-step proprietary state-of-the-art space-age technology. The ultra-fine micro-staining process physically removes disease bacteria, pathogenic cysts, microorganisms including disease parasites and viruses along with the disease toxins they contain. Broad-spectrum molecular capture traps and captures specific organisms as well as chemicals and contaminants including pesticides, herbicides and solvents such as chlorine that can be toxic. It also removes foul taste, odor and color. Third step uses specially charged space-age surfaces like magnets to remove minute particles, molecules and colloids suspended in the water. The Purex series drinking water purifier has been scientifically tested by the University of Arizona, which concluded that it met the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's EPA guide standard as a microbiological water purifier, which is capable of removing 99.9999% bacteria, cysts and viruses. Any filtration system that does not meet the EPA standard is not considered a water purifier. It is also the only water purifier in the world which has passed the test conducted by the Pasteur Institute in Paris, which proved that not only will the pure prevent even very heavy doses of pathogenic bacteria to pass through, but it also did not incubate any bacteria during an extended non-use period of 70 days. This proves that bacteria will not incubate the pure, and it is the only system that is safe to use. According to the Pasteur Institute, no other product of this type on the world market, to our knowledge, even approaches Napure in this effectiveness, nor the rigorous validations available. Some of our global corporate users include major international airlines, international hotels, the U.S. Army, and universities, which have endorsed Napure for its water purification system. The U.S. Federal Aviation Authority, or FAA, has also recently endorsed Pure as the only drinking water purifier in the aviation industry. The Pure purification system was put through extreme tests on locations at Sungai Hitam, Penang, Sungai Gombak, and Sungai Klang, Kuala Lumpur. The water conditions here are indeed at extremes and you'll be amazed at how Napure effectively removed bacterial, chemical and other contaminants resulting in a purified drink which is totally safe for consumption that you can enjoy instantly. The smallest bacteria is about 200 nanometers. So a 200 nanometer bacteria is going to get through a 200 nanometer hole. The smallest virus on the other hand is about 25 nanometers. So that's definitely going to get through those 200 nanometer holes. Saver pores are 15 nanometers. So nothing's getting through. Okay, I'm going to give you a bit of a demonstration. Would you like to see that? I spent all the time setting this up, so I guess I should. Um, we're in the fine city of Oxford. So, um, someone's done that up. Fine city of Oxford. So what I've done is I've gone and got some water from the River Cherwell and the River Thames that flow through here, and this is the water. 
But I got to thinking, you know, if we were in the middle of a flood zone in Bangladesh, the water wouldn't look like this. So I've gone and got some stuff to add into it. And this is from my pond. <coughs> Have a smell of that, Mr. Cameraman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, we're just going to pour that in there. <laughs> okay, we've got some uh, runoff from a sewage plant farm. So I'm just going to put that in there. Put that in there, there we go. And some other bits and pieces. Chuck that in there. And uh, I've got a little gift here from a friend of mine's rabbit. So we're just going to put that in there as well. <laughs> okay. Now, the Lifesaver bottle works really simply. You just scoop the water up. Today I'm going to use a jug just to show you all. Let's get a bit of that poo in there. That's not dirty enough. Let's just stir that up a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to take this really filthy water and put it in here. Do you want to drink yet? Okay. There we go. Replace the top. Give it a few pumps, okay? That's all that's necessary. Now as soon as I pop the teat, sterile drinking water is going to come out. I've got to be quick. Okay, ready? There we go. Mind the electrics. That is safe, sterile drinking water. <laughs> Cheers. There you go, Chris.